So now we agreed that higher order filter, any filter, will be TS by PS by QS, and QS will have poles on the left top plane. And if the poles exist, they must exist in complex conjugate. So the denominator will be. Remember, all this is one over one by something divided by s square plus e s plus b into s square plus c s plus d, and so on and so forth. Because every pole must have a complex conjugate. Sir. Yes. Right. Every pole must have complex conjugate. So this polynomial here is can be broken down into product of terms like this correspond to each pair of complex poles. Right? They need not be complex; they may be real also. But general term is something like this, and this also can be written down as equal to something multiplied by something multiplied by something. This corresponds to s square plus e s plus b, and this corresponds to s square plus c s plus d. Some other set of poles like this. So, if I design a filter for this, a similar filter for this, a similar filter for this, and put them all in cascade one after the other, I get the overall transfer function. So it's good enough for me to give you a method by which I design one of these terms with some orbit a and b. And then you can design filter for c and d. Also, you can design filter for e and f. Also, put lot of such filters in cascade to get a higher order low pass filter. Okay. Classically, we have done this by using inductors, resistors, and capacitors. As we did in one zero one, but now with the advent of the problem with this so-called RLC filters, was you needed inductors, and inductor happened to be most troublesome element in the network theory because capacitor almost represents the mathematical capacitor, a resistor represents almost the mathematical resistor, but inductor unfortunately is a approximation to Mathematical inductor, you will never get L D A B D T just like that. So, also they are bulky, they are inaccurate. So, there is a way of removing that inductor and make filters. Then it will be good for me. So, the once the operational amplifiers have come into existence, the idea of designing filters without Physical inductors only using resistors and capacitors come. They are called active filters. Okay. So the active filters use only operational amplifiers, resistors, and capacitors. One simple active filter is what you have seen here. Just an integrated, it's also a filter. If you want to go still higher order, we would like to design this. The next one, if you want more such filters, I put them in cascade to get a much higher order filter. So if I know how to synthesize this low pass filter, I can synthesize any order filter by putting such filters in cascade. So let us do that. Very simple. V zero by V in must be equal to some constant times s square plus s plus b. Same thing. When I put some constant k, hmm. And again, remember your one zero one. You can write this in terms of differential equation. As equal to v zero double dot plus a v zero double dot plus v zero is equal to k times v 
right? Operating on this, operating on this. So the corresponding differential equation governing this is this. We did this in one one. The equivalence of a transfer function in terms of a corresponding differential equ differential equation. So I need to simulate this differential equation by using op amps. We what we did in analog computers in good old days. How do I do that? Let us say somebody has given you V0 double dot. Let's start with V0 double dot. If I put one integrator, I get V0 dot. If I put one more integrator, I get V0. Now, this V0 fellow, double dot fellow, must be equal to, according to this expression, KV in minus AV0 double dot dot minus BV0. And we have a summer with us. So the output voltage here should be equal to sum of this voltage and this voltage, this voltage with some coefficients. And this voltage available to me, this voltage available to me, in is available to me. So if I put in to a summer, V0, With the appropriate weightages, remember the summer where we had a constant correspondence R2 by R1, R3 by R1, so on and so forth. So I use those values to get these weightages. I got a summer. The output of this is nothing but my V0 double dot. This is my V in, this is my V out, and V0 and V in are related by this differential equation. So the transfer function to V0 to V in must be whatever we started with, which is this 1k divided by a s square plus a s plus b. So to do this, what all we need is a integrator. An integrator, two integrators and one summer. So I do have operation amplifier to do this job. So I do this operation by using a operation amplifier, this by another operation amplifier, this by another operation amplifier. So three operation amplifiers will give me a low pass filter with appropriate connections like this. Only problem is that my integrator here is not something like this. It gave me minus 1 by RC integral V0 double dot, for example. So this integrator has a minus sign here and a constant here whose value depends upon RC I have chosen. It doesn't matter that can be taken care in the weightages here. Similarly, the second one also will be similar to this. So I can adjust those values called coefficients here in the weightages here. So but the moral of the story is that if you have three operational amplifiers, I can get a first, second order low pass filter. Right? There is one more interesting thing. If we take the output from here instead of here, what happens? This output is derivative of this, right? So this output is taken a derivative. In transfer function, what does it mean? Derivative means you multiply by s. So you got a transfer function at this point, which is s divided by a square plus b s plus c. What is that you correspond to? Bandpass filter. 
if I do it here, it turns out to be a low bypass filter. So same structure simultaneously give you a low pass output, high pass output, band pass output by tapping out at the three points either V0 or V0 dot or V0 double dot. So this is the called the active filter structure and this is uh, if you remember this is nothing but the state space representation right. So we people call this as a state space filter instead of active filter sometimes we call it state space filter. And the man who has uh, proposed this was Hulsman from Berkeley, 1960 something. And of course, when he proposed this, operational amplifiers were so expensive, people laughed at him. Um, but when operational amplifiers become so cheap now, you get four operational amplifiers in one envelope of one single integrated circuit just to connect it into a filter like this. Four operational amplifiers, one chip, specially made for the test space filters. Okay.